I'm going to go through the three worst IGCSE mistakes you could make on your IGCSE maths exams. If you can avoid these mistakes, these are gonna be lots of marks in the bag for you when it comes to your exams. Number one is rounding too early. So I can't think of how many students I've taught over the years. They'll get their answer to part A, part B. I've got my 14.1 or my 3.25, and then they'll use that rounded answer for part C, part D, and part E, and they'll start losing accuracy marks all the way through, and you know they're coming out with three or four marks less than they really should do by keeping that result. Now, one of the best ways you can do that is by leaving it in your calculator and then using the ANS key, the ANS key, or even saving it as A or B or C so you can use it later in the question. Number two is probability questions, and in particular, without replacement or with replacement. And students often get confused, okay, has there been a replacement or not? Now you should assume there is no replacement unless told otherwise. And what do I mean by told otherwise? Well, for example, someone has chosen a ball from the bag and then put it back in the bag. You need to have that sentence in there. Otherwise, you need to assume once they've taken the ball from the bag, it disappeared and it's gone. And that's gonna change your probability and the problem with this mistake is the tree diagram then is usually incorrect and any subsequent question after that will then instantly be wrong. You might pick up method marks, but apart from that, you're going to lose a ton of marks on those probability questions. And the third, perhaps worst mistake to make on IGCSE Max is leaving blanks. Now I've talked about this in other videos as well, but leaving any form of blank on the maths exam is guaranteeing you are going to lose those marks because there is literally nothing there for the examiner to actually mark and go through. So what do you think? Is there a worse mistake than the three that I've mentioned in this video? Then please let me know in the comments below. And if you need to get up to speed to all things IGCSE maths so you don't make those mistakes, then check out the video right over here.